So we're here today at the beautiful Southwell Racecourse, or Southwell, depending upon which part of the country that you come from. And we're here today to learn about total performance data because they're the people that stream the live race course data straight into Bet Angel. So what is it? How does it work? That's what we're going to find out in this video. If you're interested in learning to use Bet Angel, head on over to our website where you can download a free trial. If you're interested in learning how to use it, then head over to the Bet Angel Academy where you can do exactly that. And if you want to talk to like-minded people, then head on over to our forum. Is up there for the north showing speed out. So when you look at horse racing on the television, you can see lots of data. You can see things like the time elapsed, you can see the order of the racehorses on the course, and nowadays you even get sectionals as well, telling you how fast the horses have run over certain parts of the course. The interesting thing is this data is available to you, and plenty more besides, and it will radically change the way you bet and trade on horse racing. So I went to have a look at the technology and how it goes from the racecourse to your PC. So when horses travel to race courses, they have trouble in their horse boxes. And when they're ready to race, they do the short walk uh, to the stables or the pre-parade ring. And at the pre-parade ring, this is where they adjust the tack, uh, get the horses saddled up. And that's important because when the horses are saddled up, that's when you start to receive data uh, via this particular piece of technology. And when the horses are saddled up, you will be able to track the horses all the way from the stables or the pre-parade ring uh, into the parade ring and of course out onto the course itself. But more importantly you'll be able to track them as they actually race as well. So this is critically important but more importantly how does this technology work? So in my hand here I have the magic that makes all of this happen. This is a tracker that goes into the saddlecloth of the race course. When it's in the saddle cloth, basically, there's a GPS device within here that receives data from many different satellites. It aggregates that data, sends it via radio to an aerial at the race course, and then straight out to your software. So this is the saddle cloth that will go on the horse before it goes out to race. And what you will notice in this saddle cloth is a little pocket above the number. Total performance data have supplied each of the race courses with these saddle cloths and there are actually two pockets on the saddle cloth so that a tracker can go in both sides of the horse. That increases the level of accuracy and the redundancy in case one of them has a problem or gets hit by a whip. But this is the actual saddle cloth that will go on a horse and the tracker actually gets inserted into the saddle cloth before it goes out onto the race course. So one of the big advantages that you have with this technology is speed. If you look at traditional TV pictures, they're always delayed because they have to go via production broadcast and satellites and all manner of ways to reach your TV screen. But the data that comes from the race course is transmitted almost instantaneously. And the best way to understand the difference between these two and the speed advantage you get is to have a look at a race. So I'm going to start and stop this race at a critical point. So if we look at the data that is coming off of the race course, the thing that you'll notice is that horses number nine and 10 have just jumped this fence uh, almost simultaneously. Nine is slightly in front of the 10 here. Um, but if you look at the TV pictures, you can see that they're still some way from the jump. And in fact, it takes a few seconds before they reach it. So you can now see that they've reached the fence um, on the TV pictures, but from the course, you can see that they're actually at the crossing. Uh, so you can see here, if we restart it again, how long it takes for them to actually reach the crossing now. And therefore you can see that there is a significant speed advantage uh, when you're receiving data direct from the course rather than watching it on TV pictures. And as the gates flip open, it also sends a radio signal which is picked up by this. So we are getting exactly the same start signal as the photo finish. So we're looking here at some live data arriving with inside Bet Angel. And we haven't got the map displayed here, but we're seeing the core data, stuff like 
position of runner, distance to leader, how long's left in the race, how fast are they running? And in fact, there's a whole range of different bits of data that you can pull in to Bet Angel. Not only that, you can display it however you wish. You could even plot it on a graph, which you can see that we're doing here. Uh, but it's important to understand that you can also manipulate that data to derive new and interesting calculations. And to understand why you'd want to do that, let's have a look at how some of that data can be used. <clears throat> Where is it on course? What speed is it running? How's it running to par? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, if, if it's weakening at that particular point, then something else will come in yeah. to those odds. So it's a question of taking advantage of the structure of the race or how the race is panning out. The efficiency with which your horse runs affects its overall time. If it goes too fast early, it'll pay by going slower later on. There's been a real pace collapse here. Kalachi's tail silver turns to gold. Hedging still doing well on the stand. So let's revisit the graph that I showed you a short while ago. What you're looking at here is the pace of the race. You can see that the horses have been running at the top end of expectations on this particular race. And as we approach the latter stages, you can see a pace collapse. You can see here that the graph has moved towards the lower end of this band, and that's indicating uh, that basically the pace is now at the bottom end of that particular range. So even if you can race read, you can now get visual confirmation of exactly what's going on. And if you want to, you can even bet or trade on this automatically. So this is where things get very interesting because we look at different courses, like Ascot for example, we note that the layout of the course is very different from others. And if we look at the straight mile at Ascot, we can actually see that it's pretty level. There are very few undulations, which isn't necessarily the case when we look at other courses in the UK. If you look at a course like Chepstow with a head-on camera shot, you can immediately see the difference between this and a course like Ascot. So if you look at this race at Lingfield, you can see not only the live data, but on the right hand side, you can see how the horses are performing based upon the course and distance. And you'll get this information at every course that is compatible with TPD. So using this new technology, you'll have access to a whole range of data data that will help dramatically improve your betting and trading. And this data is transmitted almost instantaneously from the race course. If you're interested in the preliminaries from a betting or trading perspective, this is very beneficial because you'll be able to watch the horses as they're saddled up all the way to the end of the race. So even if the racing channel that you're watching is covering another race, you'll be able to see all of this activity on your screen. And of course, having access to this data in play instantaneously, faster than you can get on TV pictures, will help you understand how the horse is running, has run, and will dramatically improve all of your betting and trading by giving you a better understanding of how a horse is performing over course and distance. So if you want to put yourself in the winner's enclosure, download a free trial of Bet Angel, plug in the total performance data feed, and if you need more help on integrating total performance data into BetAngel and displaying all this wonderful information, nip on over to the forum where you can get more help and advice. Next time, it's number three, top chief second today. But here's the winner, the famous colours of Gillian Lady Howard's Awarded, colours carried by many a, a top horse over the years. Jumps as well as flat. Gaius is the winner of our sixth race tonight.